The owners of this country know the truth. It's called the American dream. Because you have to be asleep to believe it. A wise man, that's that's uh actually that's one of the last songs that we worked on lyrically. Um you know, we went back and forth on a couple of lines. Uh, um, that was probably the last song on the record that we worked on. Uh, so Roger reached out to me and, you know, he let me know they were working on a new record. And uh, that there was a song that was uh, given to them by uh, a mutual friend of ours, Ricky Singh, who's uh, from Backtrack. He said, yo, Ricky's got this song he wants to donate to us because he said, it's Total One Voice. So I said, okay, let, let me hear it. And then when I heard it right off, the, right off the top, I was like, that's on point. That's definitely as close to one voice song as I've heard in a long time. To really cement that whole thing, and to capture that vibe, obviously we had to bring Matt Henderson in. Um, you know, that was Matt Henderson. You know, that was you know that was the first record he did with AF, and that was you know, you know that was really where he he uh, he contributed to to the New York hardcore sound on that record. You know, you know we didn't put everything really together yet till that evening when Matt went into the studio. You know, like I said, Matt, there's no guitar tracks. It's all you. You know, you're gonna hear the band there, but it's all you. You do your magic, it's all, all guitars are just you. You know, so he went in there, he did his thing. So when I showed up at the studio, I just, you know, I wasn't sure exactly how it was gonna come out. And then uh, once I started working on it, I, I was listening to the way it was sounding. And uh, I actually started to hear like one voice sounds in it. I, I wound up putting a little extra flavor to the to the tracks because there's there's like some like feedback and sort of you know uh, tremolo bar type stuff going on a little bit of like lead type stuff that one voice obviously had and people tell me they like to hear from me from that era so Stay closer to your I think it was like three o'clock in the morning I got a text from Matt saying and it, uh, with, with a little bit of it, and I was like, wow, that's pretty badass. And I get the next day, I got the whole song, and it inspired me, because I had written some, I had my, got my, my tracks in, I was like, man, Matt just took it to the next level, and I'm like, I, I gotta bring it to the, the following level. The record was done. I was the last guy to put the tracks on that record. So when Roger got a chance to hear it, he really liked it, and it kind of inspired him to go back and put a little extra touch on his vocals. Like icing on top of icing on top of the cake. And I went and redid the vocals. And my brother had some input on a couple of changes there too. And next thing you know, it came together. I love that song. It's totally one voice to the team. I, I want to thank Matt, Ricky, my brother, everybody. We came in on real. <laughs>